Powerful Cosmic Explorers, welcome back to another video. The term highly evolved soul can mean so many things, it is hard to provide a simple answer. One interpretation is it means to become one with pure consciousness, surrendering your life to the divine's bliss, love and joy until there is nothing left of you, without expectation of any significance or consequence. So in this video, you will get to know how far you have evolved as a spiritual being having human experience. To be honest with you, one does not need to be enlightened to be on a spiritual path involving their own true calling. This can be different for everyone and may change over time. It may simply further the journey towards awakenings of all kinds, further the journey towards enlightenment, help others in some way, help you discover your true calling, be an actual task of some sorts, or all of the above. It can be as difficult to discover your true calling as it is to interpret a dream, but once you do, you will be highly inspired and motivated to fulfillment. If you are graduating from this dimension to the higher dimension, you will gradually start realizing you have a stronger connection with nature, the earth, or the universe. Of course you will realize you have a strong interest in health, diet, physical fitness, or taking care of yourself. Deep within, you already know that there is a deeper meaning waiting to be discovered. But these are all by the way. As we go through this life journey, we evolve, we become stronger and better when we go through various tough times. We all go through major changes at different times in our lives. The old saying about, putting away childish things, can hit you hard, especially when you don't feel ready to take the next step. However, once you start moving in a positive direction, you will find that it's not only easier than you expected, but it's also much more worthwhile than you ever imagined. We all have the ability to develop a higher consciousness. However, not many have managed to do so. We all have different spiritual journeys, so if you are not there yet, don't worry. Making the first step is enough in the beginning to start the journey toward higher consciousness. We incarnate to learn and evolve. Outside of being human, emotions are just vibrations, no consequences or feelings, outcomes, and dependencies. So we come and experience every facet of human nature to develop understanding and empathy. We learn why love is the most powerful force in the universe. We continue to evolve in between incarnations as well. Once we reach that point, we may choose to incarnate for a purpose to help others, to teach and evolve human consciousness. A highly evolved soul understands that human beings are simply here to learn and benefit from the experience life provides, and that people absolutely will trip and fall, and commit sometimes downright inhuman mistakes on their path to learning. And this process is meant to propel people to the next level of evolution, on all possible planes, whether it's spiritual or physical. And most importantly, an evolved soul understands that souls are all equal and that as human beings we are all born equal, whether it reflects socially or not, and we all have the same value as people. Anyone intelligent enough will know that instinctively, because they have already learned it in the past. Of course we are all born equal as human, but what makes the difference is using our life experiences to evolve our mind, body, and spirit. Some people choose the normal cycle of sleep, wake up, eat, work, entertainment, and so on, while some choose to think for themselves and use what life teaches them to better themselves and evolve their soul. If you are a highly evolved being, it is obvious you will have these following 10 powerful characteristics. Number 1. You know who you truly are. According to psychological identity theory, there are four stages of identity development. At stage 1, you have no identity. You blindly accept whatever ideology or value system was taught by your parents or family members. Just like during the age of Pisces when we were taught to believe and accept, rather than to think for ourselves. At stage 2, you begin expanding your social circle, but you passively go with the flow of society without questioning. You lack authenticity and obsess over fitting in and pleasing others. At stage 3, you begin to experience an identity crisis. You realize you have been faking, copying, and blindly following others your entire life. You begin to question your choices and values. This leads you to explore new lifestyles, belief systems, choices, friends, and cultures. However, at this stage there is little commitment and depth. Instead, it is endless searching for the next thing. Most people are stuck in a perpetual identity crisis. They have no clue who they really are. But at stage 4, you have courageously voyaged through your identity crisis and autonomously committed to a particular identity, that is, ideology, occupation, relational values, etc. You continue to explore. 
However, this exploration is grounded on foundational beliefs and a clear sense of who you are and what your direction is in life. From my own perspective, I will define an evolved person as someone who has achieved their identity. If this resonates, kindly leave us your comment below, and also, we will like to hear your own contribution to this topic. However, so many people drift through life without ever really knowing themselves. A lot of us end up working a menial 9 to 5, come home, eat, sleep, and repeat every day of our lives, only to wake up at 40 and realize we have missed out on what we really wanted to do with our lives. Being self-aware at all times will allow you to understand what you want, and will help you start on the path toward actualizing your goals. Number 2. You know what you want. If you know who you are, you will definitely figure out what you want out of life. Take the time when you are young to really figure out what you want to do with your life. You don't have to follow in anyone else's footsteps, make your own path. If you waste your 20s and 30s, thinking that you will figure it all out someday, maybe you might end up putting it off until it's too late. Once you step out into the real world, other obligations will take control of your life, and you might never end up doing what you wanted to do with your time on Earth. Number 3. You believe you are in control of the outcomes in your life. As an evolved person, you have what psychologists call an internal locus of control. You control your life, and not any external factors. Because the universe has ordained you to do this. You believe you are responsible, and therefore have power to create whatever future you want. For example, successful people aren't just lucky, they have planned out their entire life, and know exactly what they want out of it. This isn't to say that everything will go according to that plan, but the highly evolved person understands that life doesn't happen. Highly evolved souls possess highly evolved consciousness. They follow their inner guide, they create their own unique world and make their own rules. So, if you are highly evolved, you possess this unique quality lacking in many people today. You follow your own heart and make things happen, even when people don't believe in you or second-guess your true ability. Number 4. You are reflective. The evolved person reflects on his or her accomplishments on a daily basis, as well as over the long term. Evolved people analyze how they handled different situations and navigated different problems, and if there were any better way to go about their day. They also take stock in their life and decide if they are where they thought they would be five years ago, and if anything in their life needs to change in order to keep improving. By being honest with themselves about where they have been, where they are, and where they're headed, evolved people ensure they stay on the fast track to success. Number 5. You thrive to change for the better. Some people prefer to stay stagnant, especially when they find a sweet spot in life. Of course, if everyone chose to stay in their comfort zone, nothing would ever get accomplished, and the human race would eventually start to falter. It's incredibly important that humanity continues to evolve, on the small scale as well as large scale. Do your part by constantly pushing your comfort zone to its limits. Embrace vulnerability, putting yourself out there may be risky, but it will also be rewarding in the long run. And you'll be making a contribution to the evolution of human beings as a species. Number 6. You notice truth hidden in everything. As an evolved person, you notice subtle truth and connections in everything, while watching movies, having conversations, driving in your car. Life is your teacher. You are deeply connected to the universe and are sensitive to even the smallest connections and lessons. Number 7. You no longer compare yourself with others. As an evolved person, you no longer compare yourself or compete with others. Having a sense of unique identity, you realize that no one else can do the work you are intended to do. You have your own unique mission in life that only you can do. So there is no reason to copy other people. There is no competition. You are an innovator, the creator, the builder, and architect of the new earth. Number 8. You genuinely want the best for others. As an evolved person, you are happy when other people succeed, and you are sad when other people fail. The success of others is seen as the success of the whole. You genuinely want what's best for everyone, even those you would consider your enemies. You only have love for every person on earth. No hatred, envy, or guile. Evolved people change the world. They live happier, simpler, and more productive lives. The best part is, as you grow in consciousness, you can see these evidences in your life, confirming you are becoming the person you were meant to be. Number 9. You care less about what people think of you. 
As an evolved person, you care intensely about other people's well-being. However, you no longer care what other people think about you. Other people's perceptions no longer govern you. As Martha Graham has said, what people in the world think of you is really none of your business. Number 10. You feel a gap between yourself and those you used to associate with. As an evolved person, you feel a gaping chasm between yourself and the people you used to spend time with. This is perhaps one of the saddest parts of becoming highly evolved, and one of the hardest. At some point in every evolved person's journey, they had to disband themselves from people who pulled them down. However, once they did, it wasn't long before they were nothing like their old friends. If these resonates with you, make sure to comment below, and also, write your own thought on this. I hope this video was really helpful to you. Make sure to subscribe and share it. Peace, love and life.